So after Megan whacked Drake on his, right? And the whole internet was talking about scars and fake accents and stuff. <laughs> All of a sudden, his sensitive video, I should say, right? Sensitive video got leaked. And I'm like, okay, girl, the timing of this. I'm just like, all right, but okay, okay. And while everyone was gagging and ooing and eyeing and all that shit, all I could think about is his questionable history with minors and texting minors and shit, allegedly texting minors. And it's like everyone suddenly can't think straight when peen is involved. I'm just like, given that questionable ass history, who exactly y'all think he's sending this shit to? It don't really, it don't fill me with no joy. Like it just don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. Why y'all gagging? Yeah. The only person that only worship me, yeah, you could go to me. The only you so lonely, insecure, they don't control me, control me, control me, control me, boy, you can't control me. And then, oh my God, the straight men, like they came out the woodwork. Can you say homoerotic fantasies? Ha! About this nigga, oh my, they were foaming at the mouth. Online, they were foaming at the mouth. Like, when that shit happened, I was like, okay, whatever, another celebrity leak. But bitch, I did not expect to see this fucking reaction. I was just like, oh my God. And it was these niggas. It was these niggas. I mean, searching for links, comparing meat size. They, they talking about comparing meat sizes. Like they want to go meat for meat. They like, I was like, yo, y'all sound gayer than me. Y'all sound gayer than me. And and, and honestly, y'all do all the time. Y'all be on some weird shit all the time. But y'all, this this was, this really took the cake because I ain't never seen this kind of reaction like this. Like, I don't know. I don't know. They were overjoyed, elated, excited, kicking and swinging their feet, bitch. Like, th them niggas were excited, happy, in a place of bliss. Do you hear what I'm saying? Experiencing nirvana. They were transcending. I mean... I don't know. I've been on social media for a long time, like I said, and I ain't never seen no shit like that. How come there's not this collective, this same kind of collective reaction, right? When women's news leak. Yeah, I mean, y'all be ready to shame and degrade when that happens. I mean, yeah, but Drake, y'all were going up. <laughs> y'all were going, y'all were ready to kiss that nigga through the phone. I was about to call Soulja Boy for y'all asses. And isn't it wild that a lot of niggas like that like that do this kind of shit be homophobic still at the end of the day and i'm just like <laughs> and we shouldn't be surprised like i said straight men do some weird shit in the locker room <laughs> they do some weird shit on on the football field slapping each other's ass and shit like they they do some weird shit so we we shouldn't be surprised but still it was very jarring because I'm like, y'all were acting like y'all never seen a cock before. <laughs> like, it was the, like it was the Eiffel Tower or something. I don't understand. Like, like I could walk two minutes in any direction for me. I'm not gagging over the, I'm not gagging over the grassy dong. Are y'all serious? The grassy dong? Let's start with this nigga here, Mr. Ross. He apparently sent Drake a voice memo that said, it's crazy, bro. Like, God damn. You're blessed with your voice. You're blessed with performing. You're blessed to be you. You're blessed to be number one, but you're also blessed to have a fucking missile. And Drake allegedly responded to the message with laughing emojis and by saying that um, the voice memo that, he, you know, should be his new album intro. And I'm just like, y'all are going on a meet uh, crusade. <laughs> Y'all are going on. I I never seen. I'm talking about as a as a whole entire gay man. I ain't never seen a meat brigade. I ain't never seen a meat crusade this intense. This one says, not gonna lie, Drake really a perfect ass dude, light skin, and put a pin in that light skin thing because I think this is not the first time we're gonna see them like really about to orgasm over his over drake being light-skinned so just keep put a pin in that so uh light skin unlimited money drippy and now he has a big dick we can't compete <laughs> you niggas sound so right you niggas are so raggedy <laughs> you niggas are so pathetic and raggedy <laughs> yeah it's so raggedy this other one drake has a mega mansion can get whatever woman he wants owns a plane light skin you see that <laughs> oh y'all do the paperback test not just for women and you know getting y'all sexes but you do it to see which nigga you gonna dick ride <laughs> you gotta do it oh my god he can get whatever woman he wants owns a plain light skin and to top it all off has a massive hammer <laughs> y'all Y'all are drooling. You're you're foaming at the mouth. 
you're foaming at the mouth. And then this one here, this one was all over the fucking internet. <laughs> and then it, it has the colorism shit in it too. Dark skinned niggas been clowning us for years. Now we got a real meter running around. <laughs> niggas mad. <laughs> a real meter? <laughs> I don't think I've ever said anything that gay in my life. A real meter. Um, Drake, swing that shit, nigga, represent for us. This is y'all canon moment, ain't it? <laughs> this y'all, y'all, y'all really energetic over this shit. Wow, very interesting to me. And then this one, me realizing Drake got money, fame, looks, and a fat dick. And it's just so weird because like y'all wouldn't even say, y'all be using these descriptive words, massive hammer, fat dick. <laughs> what else? Um, fucking missile. That's what that's what uh, Mr. Rostin said. So it's just like, when I see y'all do this shit, and, and from the moment that I was, I, from early on, like I said, y'all do crazy shit in the locker room. Y'all do crazy. So. It's just like, but when I see y'all repeatedly doing weird shit, it just makes me think like, y'all really have the nerve to be homophobic? Y'all be walking around here ready to make fun. Y'all be calling everything sus, everything sweet, everything fruity, everything gay, everything. That's what y'all be doing. But the moment Drake swings that meat around to distract us, the moment he, he swings that shit around, y'all are in there about to do praise and worship. Y'all are in there bowing down on your knees, literally, literally on your knees. And it's like, that's why I can't take y'all niggas seriously. And then to me, I just never understood. I mean, in general, when people shit leaks, people act like they never seen body parts in their entire life. Like they never seen them before. They never, they never seen what they look like. They never seen them before. So when, when shit people shit leak it's already like a weird thing like oh my god this person has human parts oh my god <gasps> it, it's so shocking it's like i mean y'all remember the era when you know if your nudes leaked and you were a celebrity it was this big deal it was sometimes career ending you know and even that i think is very weird because i'm like why should somebody's career end because people people see they have body parts <laughs> it's just it's, the way we handle all this shit in general is very weird but like this reaction where people it's just y'all ain't never seen no peen before you never seen one before it's like the rea the reaction to me was very and i know it's a celebrity i know drake is a huge celebrity but i'm just like y'all are so easily distracted <laughs> this nigga is a weirdo and you can walk in it's like i said you could go I'll scroll on the apps for five seconds and find some shit standing at attention. So I just don't get the gags. But like straight men were going up, y'all. I mean, I saw more more tweets from straight men about men's and also about men's reactions than I saw anybody else gagging. Like y'all was really up there looking up at him with y'all mouths open, your tongues hanging out. Like that's what it was given. I just wanted to comment and say that y'all are going to continue to be weirdos, especially the ones who do this kind of shit and then turn around and be homophobic. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say about that, child. Um, thank y'all so much for watching. Peace out. And make sure that you have a good goddamn evening. Drag, band, we dragging band, bitches, band. so they trying to ban drag. Ain't it sad that y'all write them laws as undercover bags? Hope you mad that I'm a nigga fucking on another man. Cause I can't dirty.